and Robin with Oxy Dry. And uh, this is a nice straightforward job for the most part. Uh, I think the carpet is around five years old. Uh, and it does have some it does have some wear showing. But it's not that bad. Pretty big house actually. And um, I've already done the family room downstairs and and um guess I gotta move that a little bit. There you go. Um anyway that's all done. Uh up here I've got master bedroom and uh this hallway or landing area whatever you want to call it and um, two bedrooms so anyway all is well I'm uh, cleaning with the uh, rayon green stripe rayon, uh, rayon, yeah, rayon, rayon green stripe um, I thought that it was uh, for this particular carpet was a, a good choice and oh, I'll only, only be doing a single step on this one there's really no visible actual soiling, although there is, you can see the uh, traffic lane is kind of packed down a little bit, but the uh, the rayon is actually pretty good at lifting the pile, actually, so. And of course, I'm uh, shower feeding. Just making sure I keep that pad a little bit damp as I'm uh, going over the carpet. Don't want to over-wet it. Don't want to under-wet it. Yeah, this carpet is actually really in pretty good shape as far as soiling goes though. But you can, uh, you can see the pack down a fair amount and the traffic areas. When I vacuumed it, it really actually lifted up pretty well with the with the Hoover hush tone because it's really good at lifting the pile actually. But uh, I can actually feel a little bit of compression. You see that's the thing about the rotary, you can actually feel things on the carpet and I can actually feel there's a little bit of a compression in this doorway here. But you can see it's uh, lifting and separating the pile. course very easily without any problem at all. Rotary is very good at getting right up to the edge. As long as, long as you, you know, obviously you want to put a pad on there that'll do that and of course this is actually a 19 inch pad and this is a 17 inch machine so I've got about an inch overlap all around of course. So there we'll go uh, Oh, I've got an interesting <laughs> situation to deal with at home. My wife showed me yesterday, uh, we've got a rather large wasp's nest going on right near our front door. Uh, I actually went over there <laughs> with a, a vacuum. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll try and suck some of these guys up. Um, they're actually, it's actually in the eaves. Like up in, it's, they're going in through a, uh, the edge of the eave and the, um, uh, the wall. So I guess the nest is actually in the attic. And it's a big one. It must be because as soon as I got near there with the uh, vacuum nozzle, there was like hundreds and hundreds of bees, came, uh, wasps came out. Yeah, I had to make a dash for it. <laughs> they were not happy. So anyway, um, we talked to a um, uh, bug guy. And they said, yeah, we can spray the outside, but we can't do anything about the inside. I say, okay, well, that's, I can spray the outside. I don't want to pay $150 to have somebody spray something that I can go and 
do myself, but anyway. I was just going to go and suck them all up. I thought that'd be kind of fun, but uh, they don't like that apparently. <laughs> and there's lots there, I'm telling you. And I don't want to get a, a sting from a wasp. That's not pleasant. But I really need to do with it, deal with it because it's pretty near the front door. They can be pretty aggressive. So we will have to address that, I guess. there. Yeah, kind of uh, inconvenient the way they did that. Way they did that. Hmm. I'll bring this down. machine's making a weird noise, I know that, and I know, I'm almost certain that I know why. I think the belt's slightly off, um, it's a multi-V belt, and I think I have to shift it over one more, uh, groove, as it were, on the, uh, on the, well, it's actually got an idler, and I think it's slightly off, and that's why it's, uh, it's causing the main hub to slightly shift as it goes, uh, is it torques a little bit. So maybe I'll do that today. I actually got the afternoon off. So as soon as I finish this job I'll be going home. Which is fine. We got somebody coming over and uh, my wife wants me to uh, uh, deal with the doggies while she's dealing with the, the other guy that's coming over to do something for her. Her piano, actually. I bought her a brand new piano. What was it? I don't think it was 10 years ago, but yeah, she'd always wanted a, a nice Yamaha, so I bought her one a few years back. Beautiful. The one she wanted, upper grand. We used to be, uh, we used to play. Uh, actually, we used to play in the in church, and uh, we actually were in a band for a little bit there. Jazz band, actually. So I'm, uh, I'm just cleaning with my normal Nanomax two ounces per gallon mix. This is 
throat. We'll get rid of that. Okay. bedrooms up here. have to do a bit of uh, maneuvering in, in these rooms. But again, the rotary is so, so uh, nimble. Makes it uh, easy to work with. You know, a lot of guys are uh, using the um, swirly, which is a little bit smaller than this. Uh, it's 15 inch. This is a 17. <coughs> um... I actually used to have a 15-inch machine many years ago, and it was a it was a definitely a nice machine. It was a it was a General. It had a really interesting uh, the way the wheels uh, were on it. It had a sort of a, a pivoting uh, f little subframe, I guess you could call it, and the wheels would flip up or flip down. It was pretty cool. probably should have kept that machine it was definitely well made it was it was already old when I got it I think but it was in really good shape and then uh, but I decided in the end I would get rid of it because uh, I, I kind of had to make a decision as to what size pads that I was gonna really invest in because I actually had a, a 20 inch machine that I used for a while so I had some pads for that and had some pads for the 17 is and I had some pads for the for the uh, 15 and it was just getting a little I guess you could say complicated with all kinds of different sizes of pads and I realized well I, I found that the, the 20 was just a little too big for residential work uh, and 15 was fine but then it was not really the ideal choice when it came to commercial whereas the 17 inch seemed to be the uh, kind of the sweet spot and uh, anyway that's kind of where I've settled over the over the years and uh, yeah it's suited me well I think room over there. Put that back. <clears throat> now, I can't... I can't run the machine down that side of the bed. probably don't have to clean over there but I'm going to encapsulate it and so one of the reasons by the way even if you don't use your tank one reason to have a tank on your machine is it gives it more sub substance to its appearance it only weighs a few pounds but it also um, gives you something <laughs> gives you a place to carry stuff such as spotters and whatever I could use the work in here, but this is going to be fine. I mean, it's not even dirty over here. Nobody's been walking here at all. So this is just to basically encapsulate it. <clears throat> and I see another sprout in there. Another one. Hmm. Yeah, this is a obviously a carpet that likes to snag sometimes. Okay. Maybe 
right behind the door. I can get in there by hand, of course. Or I can use a, you know, I can do what I already did with the uh, rug room re renovator, or I could use a um, the doodle bug if I want to. I'll use what I think is the best option when I run into these scenarios. We've got a set of stairs to do after this, and then, of course, run the vacuum over everything to groom it and finish it off. Okay, so I'm done with this. We'll go over the top of the steps. Yes, I know I gotta go over there. I'll do that with the rug renovator in a minute. Okay, let's have a look, see how the pad looks. fairly dirty not too bad okay i'll let you go uh, thank you for watching and have a good day